Hey, hey there. My name is Brandon Gum, and, and today we're going to be talking about how to relocate the internal origin in Revit. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of uh, context, the backstory here as to why I'm even trying to do this, and then we'll talk and then show you the, the fastest way to relocate your internal origin while maintaining a shared coordinate system. So, um, essentially, the reason why we're doing this is, is on the screen here, I have a um, master model, and what I've done here is I've actually linked in. Uh, or the, arch the architect has given me this model and they've linked in all of these um, different buildings. So each, each building you see here is, is actually a, a Revit link. The only thing that's native in here is, is this fence. Um, so essentially the architect has located this in the um, in, in, um, what's, what's referred to as the state plane coordinate system. I don't believe that it's a best practice to do this and, and I'll explain why here in a moment. Um, but regardless, they have located in the, state, the project in the state plan coordinate system. Um, so the survey point is um, a couple hundred miles away from the site. So you can actually see the survey point looks as though it's it's located right here. But notice how the north, um, north, south, and east, west are not zero zero. That tells you what they've done is they have um, at one point they they unclipped the survey point and then they used a specify. They, they went up here to manage and they did. Uh, specify coordinates at point and it then moved the survey point way back over here and then they just clipped in there um, and so in reality sure the survey point looks like it's right here but the um, shared the shared coordinates um, is the terminology we're going to use is actually uh, you know a couple hundred miles to, to the south uh, southwest so uh, which so it and, and then if I if I my firm works in um, AutoCAD uh, and so when I'm working with like these floor plans, if I do exports of these floor plans, um, you know, my zero zero point is going to be a hundred miles away from the site. Um, additionally, I'm going to have a Z offset as well. And so now not only am I working hundreds of miles away from my zero zero point in AutoCAD, but I also now my, my, um, uh, my elevation is no longer at zero zero either. So if anything I draw, I pretty much have to have my own UCS declared anytime I'm trying to do anything. Um, and I talked to the architect about it and I was like, look, um, let dump the state plan coordinate system. They didn't want to. I explained the reasons why and I explained the reasons. The whole driver for why they're doing it is because um, AutoCAD Civil uses the state plan coordinate system. Um, and, you know, I, I told them the best thing to do is put it in state plan coordinate system, bring in your stuff from Civil, um, and then go back and, and use this specified coordinates at point and redeclare it at zero zero. Uh, we're not going to go in, into any further detail on that, but if you know the Revit coordinate system, you know what I just said there. Um, and it, that was that was the best workflow that we could have used. And the reason why you do all that is then all these buildings have a shared site coordinate system. And then I can go into each model here and I can print out and I can I can export my floor plans. Um, so right now, if I go into these models, if I go in into um, you know, this this tank area here, if I go into its model and I export the floor plan from it, um, I have the option of exporting from the internal origin or the shared site origin. If I export from the shared site, as we know, it's going to be hundreds of miles away from the site. So actually what I, what I, the workaround that I came up with so that we don't come, so that we don't have the issue of uh, the exports being hundreds of miles away from the zero, zero point. And why is that an issue? It's, it's, it's an issue because um, the AutoCAD graphics engine um, can render things um, oddly when it's far away from the zero zero point um, you you uh, get also decrease in graphic performance so there's a few things that you, there, there's reasons why you don't want your your model to be hundreds of miles away from zero zero point um, additionally it also um, you would also have that z offset from it being the state plane coordinate system um, so they have this declared at sea level i believe right now um, so you know like this this building is going to be a 500 feet up from the zero zero point so um, those are, those are all issues, and so whereas if, if they didn't have an assured site coordinate system, and I if they just had it declared a zero zero right here, um, I could just go into each model and I could just export it with the shared shared site option um, when it, when you go to file export in AutoCAD, right? So that's just file export, and then we have um, we have these options available to us here. So uh, I'll just show you just real fast, right? These these are our options, these two. So um, typically, you'd, you you would use shared for something like this. Now, instead, we're going to use the project internal. And so, what I what I did is I had uh, I, I took each building and I redeclared its internal origin to be at this point right here. 
Um, and so actually if I, um, actually I don't, I don't have a 3D model open, it doesn't really matter. Um, but essentially uh, there, there's one point on my, my site plan where all of the buildings, we, we redeclare their internal origin. And so I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna get to the content of the video now and I'll show you the fastest way of redeclaring the internal origin. So what I've done here is I have linked in my, my tank farm here. So this is, this is the building that we're gonna base everything off of. And essentially I want my internal origin to be at this corner right here. And you can see here that for in, internal origin is, is not there. So I'm actually gonna back this up real fast. So this is what it looked like a few minutes ago. And when I click on my um, project base point, it would appear the internal origin might be there with it, but to double check it, I just unclip it, click that. And I say, move to startup location. Now it, is, now it is identifying the location of the internal origin. And I know that my internal origin, as we just discussed, I want it to be right there. And I want all my buildings to have that internal origin right there. Why is that? It's, it's so that when I export floor plans in each individual model, so the, what we're looking at right here is, is the, the model for this, um, this tank area. And um, I can go and I can export my floor plans from this now. Uh, and, and the zero zero point in AutoCAD between this drawing and all my other drawings is all going to be the same. It's, it's all going to have the same zero zero point. Um, so we're like kind of in, in theory recreating the whole idea of a shared site coordinate system. But since the architect wasn't going to play ball with us, this is this is my workaround. This is how I'm doing this. Um, so I'm, I'm defeating the purpose of the internal origin. Um, uh, well, I guess really defeating the purpose of the shared site coordinate system. Nonetheless, so what I've done here is, is, is this is this is our model right here, and I've linked in this um, this existing tank farm, and um, we know that uh, as as discussed, I'm gonna get my internal origin at that corner right there. So the easiest way to do this is is one double check that this does not have its its shared site turned on. You can see the shared site is set to internal. That's just the name of the shared site. So we're just going to actually um, click the do not shared selected selected instance, and we're now going to relocate the internal origin. Now, if you don't do this. Um, cause essentially what we're going to do is we're going to grab everything here. We're going to filter out our project base point and our internal origin. So we'll just do this. We're going to filter that out. And essentially what I'm going to do is it's just going to be a two part move of grabbing right here, popping to there. And then now I just need to fix it in the, um, the X, Y, uh, not the X, Y, the, the, uh, the Z, the Z plane. I'm getting an error here. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that in just a second. Um, if you don't unclip this, this, uh, if, if, if I did not stop sharing that shared cord system, like I was doing there, I'm trying to remember what's going to happen. Um, I can't remember exactly what happens, but it does something wonky where you can, I, I believe that if you move all this, it moves the internal origin away with it as well. It's something along those lines. Um, it's been a week since I figured this out. Um, and so now I'm just documenting it to, to share with you. Um, but it, it, go ahead and test it on your machine. Um, see, if, see what happens if you, if you leave it as shared versus not shared. And you'll see that you quickly need to realize, you quickly realize that you need to unshare everything um, by, by shared site coordinates. You need to turn off that setting and then you can relocate things. And then once you've relocated things, then we're gonna come back up here to manage and we're just gonna do specified coordinates at that point. Um, so I'm gonna deal with this error real quick. I'm not gonna address that error. It's not really what we're here to, to talk about, but so now um, it's, it's correct. My, my internal um, origin is, is located correctly in the, um, the X, Y. I'm now going to um, just cut a section plan, um, a, a section cut. So I just need to turn on section so I can see it. We'll do that. We'll then draw a section. I'm gonna draw it just like that. And we'll make sure that we get everything in here. So we'll go to view. Um, typically here, you just want to stretch this box as big as you can. That way you can just grab everything and just filter out um, anything that you don't want. So we're going to first go to visibility graphics and um, I just want to make sure everything's on. It looks like it is. We're just come down here to site. I just need to be able to see my project base point um, and thus my internal origin. Um, we will then check. So it needs to actually be at this point right here. So, yep, we do need to relocate this. So I'm just going to grab everything just like that. Come down here to the filter option, deselect the project base point. Easy as that. Um, zoom back in here and we will just do a move right here and we will just move it um, down to there. And you can see that I actually it does appear that I do have a, a slight, um, you know, inch or two difference, but um, I should go ahead and fix that. But that is, that's essentially the workflow that we're going to be, you know, messing around with here. 
um, should be sufficient. And um, at this point, what you're now gonna do is you're just gonna come over here um, into your 3D model. So to do that, I'll just, I'll just come into this view and we'll pan around like this. And I know the coordinates that it needs to be at this top corner right here. So I'm just gonna do the manage specify coordinates at point. You can see there's a little, it's, it's probably hard to see on, on your screen, but there's a little blue um, circle there. So I'll just click there. And it's now gonna allow me to specify the coordinates at that point. Um, and as soon as you do that, I'm, I'm just not gonna type them in right now, but as soon as you do that, then um, you're good to go. And all you need to do is then select this instance. You can change this back to be shared if you'd like. It doesn't really matter um, because I'm just gonna detach this link actually. So you, you don't even need to go through that step. But now when you save this, synchronize, the building will be, be maintained in its exact same location and the master, um, the, the master site model. Um, and you know, all the coordinates will read the exact same, but now my internal origin is being relocated. Um, this helps. I'm glad, glad I could. If you have any questions, let me know.